Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today I'm in a new area out of my comfort zone. We're here in Dhanmundi. So a lot of you have been wanting me to try out different places in Dhanmundi but this is so far from my home and the traffic is horrible. So I came here on a weekend. We're going to two new places that I've never been to and we're here in the first place which is Bhaja Fry. And if you want to know what the second place is, you're going to have to watch the whole video. So Bhaja Fry recently renovated and opened up their new space. They have outdoor seating and they specialize in like deshi food, deshi snacks. They also have new bhat items which I'm excited to try. I also have two friends to help me out with the eating. No, what the fuck? No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> we're not to start off, we got our appetizer right here, which is the chicken roll. Looks like it's like filled up very nicely. There's a nice porta here, warm. We have some mayo, some lettuce, onion, and that nice chicken. Let's give it a bite. The chicken tastes amazing. Like it has a nice spice to it. Like it's spicy, but it's also very flavorful. I like the char on it. Love the white sauce, the lettuce and onions. It's actually really good. It's actually really good. We also have like sweet lassi here, which he ordered because I'm not a sweet lassi person. Too sweet? Too sweet for me, but I like the dough. It's nice in the weather. So guys, we just got served with our main and it looks so good. So this is their bharta platter, which is for like two people. It comes with like lots of bhartas, like alu bharta, tomato bharta, begun bharta, chingri, taki, and loita shukki bharta, which I'm so excited to try. And of course, you get steamed rice with it. So we also got their naga dal and achari dal. Apparently, their naga dal is very popular. So looking forward to trying that. We also got two different kinds of curries, mezbani beef and chicken lahori. So I just took everything in my plate except the dal. And we're just gonna try it little by little because what the dekle I go crazy. I feel like having all the rice. So we're gonna start with the basic alu bhatta. Alu bhatta. Alu bhatta. <laughs> basic. <laughs> and there's nothing else to say. This is their tomato bhatta. Mm. I don't like tomatoes, but I, I like love tom tomato bhatta. This is good. This has a tangy taste and it's spicy. I like it. This is their begun bhatta. Love a good begun bhatta. Mm. So we have like two fish bhattas, chingli and taki. So I think this is the chingli bhatta. Oh, it's got the shells, so it's chingli what they are. I mostly taste the payaj. So. And chingli chingli. Also, I didn't take much, so that could be the reason. Taki bhatta. Taki bhatta means at Kalkutasi. Really good. And finally, the loita shutki bhatta. The one I've been looking forward to the most. Mm. It's good. That smell, that taste, that spiciness. My hands are it smell like shutki, but it's worth it. It's really good. So among the bhatta, I think my favorite is the loita shutki, of course, the begun and the takimashi bhatta. And I really love the platter because everywhere I go I look for when I'm craving like Bangla food outside I look for bhartas and it's nice that all the bhartas are included in like one platter you don't have to order you can order them individually if you want to but it's also in a platter and the platter for two is like 750 taka which I think is very reasonable next we're gonna be trying the Lahori chicken this is what it looks like Ooh, dude, they just come right off Ooh, smells nice It's super flavorful and also the spice kicks you in the face in a good way. And also the gravy is like super rich, thick. The chicken's tender. It's a nice mulgi mangshur dish. Now we're gonna try the mezbani beef. The beef's again very tender, came right off. And mezbani beef looks so nice. Mm. It has a very strong achar flavor which I appreciate, I love it. It's tangy, it's rich, it's spicy, and I prefer it more than the chicken. Really good. They also have like other curries that you can try out. I am really excited to try the dal. Let's try the dal. So this is their naga dal. You can already see the naga mori sticking out. Kind of scared to try it because I don't have good experiences with naga. <laughs> but I'm hoping it's not going to be too mind-numbingly spicy. I'm waiting for it to hit me back. Because it smells so strongly of naga. Like you can smell it before you taste it. But it's not that spicy. 
like it's spicy in a good way but not like you get the fragrance of nana. you get the fragrance like the smell is more stronger than the taste oh it has a kick Gone it's kicking away. me in the gala <laughs> but it's nice i like i actually like it because the smell is very alluring and this is their achari dal it has like achar on top it of course has achar on top sorry guys plate re to baje obostha but bangla khabar khete asche this is what happens yeah bangla khabar khawar shomoy ekhon plate re bata hobe mm ooh Favorite? Yes. Dal. Okay, this is kind of tough because I love achari dal, and I wasn't expecting the naga dal to be this good. But I think I'd still choose the naga. Why? Nah, nah, achari dal. I'll choose the achari dal. Hmm. Tangy. You get that shori shat tail kind of flavor because of the achari thing. Mm. And both the dals are so thick. I really appreciate the thickness of the dal. But the naga dal really surprised me. All in all, some really good as bang food. Like if you're craving this kind of food, I recommend you try bhaja fry. I get to try their street food items and also their bhaja fry items, like their mogaj items. Hopefully next time I'm here. So I'm gonna indulge myself in some good as bang food, and I'll see you when I'm done. So we just got done with bhaja fry, and I really liked their food. I finished everything that was on the plate. Um, even the bhorta is fantastic. The next place we're going to is Kona Cafe. Let's go. So we are here in Kona Cafe and it looks very nice. It's right above Isho and beside Astoria. Kitchen Zinzian. Zinzian. Beside Zinzian and right above Isho. Place looks really cute. Let's see. really cute really cozy and they have actually a very nice menu like you can make your own poke bowls they have some like snacks items like hot dogs and wings and also a very nice selection of drinks bubble tea smoothie and like pop drinks and they also have a very nice selection of like fancy desserts like it looks really nice but i'm really excited to try their drinks because i've tried their uh, boba watermelon boba drink before and i really liked it we went to that Um, Kona Cafe branch that's in a hotel. What's the name of the hotel? Amari. Lakeshore. Lakeshore Hotel. But I'm here in their outfit for the very first time, and excited to try their main items. I haven't tried their main items before. So before we start with our meal, we have the drinks right here, and they look gorgeous. The glasses, the drink, everything looks beautiful. So we're gonna start with the Thai milk tea. I love Thai milk tea. I fell in love with it when I went to Thailand. It also has like boba. Shots. Mm. Nice chewy boba. The Thai tea, Thai milk tea is perfect. Like it tastes like exactly what I had in Thailand. Public service announcement: Please don't compare Thai milk tea to Thanda Dutcha. It's milk tea. It's of course gonna taste like Dutcha, but it's not the same thing. Just so you know. If you're missing Thai milk tea and you want to try a good Thai milk tea, I would definitely recommend this. This is really, really good. Next, we're gonna try the taro milk tea. It also has boba inside. It's my favorite. A lot of people confuse taro with ube because both of them are purple. Ube is like a sweet, sweet potato, whereas taro is like a root vegetable. Both of them have like earthly taste, uh, but they're earthly, not earthy taste. My bad. I'm too excited after having the Thai milk tea. Taro tastes kind of like cookies and cream. Kitchen like cookies and cream. proper taro flavor love the proper color mm. it kind of tastes like cookies and cream but with a more artiness more it's not too sweet it has like nice i don't know how to say it other than depth of flavor next we're going to try this strawberry lemonade it also has boba it has yeah it has the boba uh, Pop popping pearls and the uh, strawberry seeds They literally just blended the strawberry, strawberry, which is good. They did not, they did not just go with syrup, with syrup yeah. which most people, most places does. But I never had popping boba. Why? It's quite nice, huh? You make it yourself. I'm not. Do you just go out and buy it? Nah, we didn't have it before. Can I? Can I cook? 
It's not as chewy, it has a thin flavor and it like pops. Yeah, yeah it's nice, it's interesting. <coughs> you can have your drink and have fun. It's like a party in your mouth. <laughs> I like the popping boba. This is nice as well, but I prefer the milk teas. They were superb. So we have our starters right here. So we're gonna start with Philly cheese hot dog and it looks so good like the cheese is melting right on top I can see some meat we also have some fries to accompany it with like a white sauce I'm guessing it's a garlic sauce and you know me I love me some garlic sauce we also have some Korean wings sweet and spicy Korean wings let's start with the chili cheese chili cheese dog I'm gonna start with the fries Garlic sauce. Mm. I could take a bath in this. No, I'm gonna cut this in half and then eat it. I just wanna show you the cross section and see it myself as well. It cut like butter, like the bread and everything, it's so soft. Mm. That cheese, that bread, that butter. They use cheddar cheese, like the cheese is like chef's kiss. Bread's super buttered. And they didn't go for like store brought hot dog, they use like meat. Meat, proper meat, meat, proper yeah. meat. This is really good. But I want like buttery. I don't want, I wanna know where oh, they get the man. bun from. Mm. Is it in house or put out they can In the cheese. Bunda and cheese is very nice. This is a very good Philly cheese dog. Highly recommended. Highly recommended dog. Well, also, it's FIFA season, there's already a match going on right there. So, Kana Cafe have come up with this amazing deal. If you are here while a match is being played or you're here to watch the match, for that 90 minutes, you get 15% off the whole menu. The whole freaking menu. And we're gonna try the Korean chicken wings now. I'm a drums person. I don't go for the leg because wings. I can see like garlic pieces on top. too sweet for my liking. I'm not a big, big fan of Korean wings in general. I, I like tangy wings like peri peri wings or buffalo wings. It's nicely fried, the sauce is nice, it's just not for me. I prefer tangy sauce. So we got two bowls right here. One is their bibimbap and one is their hot chick. So bibimbap has a base which is white rice. You can choose brown rice or mixed green. Then the protein is bulgogi. And the hot chick again has white rice. It has gochujang chicken sausage and grilled miso as their protein. Let's start with the hot chick. This is the hot chick. This is the hot chick. Okay, to me. Oh, there I have mushrooms. So this is their hot chick. I'm gonna try chicken and sausage together with the rice. Hmm. The quality of their sausage is really nice. And the chicken is like gochujang flavored. I like the sausage, I like the sauce. It's a bit spicy. You also have like seaweeds, mushroom. It's nice. Now we're gonna try the bibimbap. It has a nice sunny side egg on top. Same, same. I like it. Oh, it has bulgogi. I just have to take the bulgogi. I'm sorry. Before even mixing. Mm. Mm. This is my thing. The bulgogi is so nice. That garlickiness, a bit sweet and spicy. I don't want to mix the whole thing. I'm too tired. I'm just gonna have the bulgogi, the egg, and the rice. Mm. Mm. Banging, bussing, this slaps. I prefer the baby mop over the hot chick because of the protein. Bulgogi is like here for me, so I really like this. All in all, both the bowls are very nice, fulfilling. Like he said, you mix up a lot of things. It has veggies, it has protein, it has eggs, sausages, a lot of stuff. Premium sausages. Premium sausages, yes. Premium sausages. 
So I like them both, but I prefer the bulgogi, like the bibimbap one more. As if we hadn't eaten enough, we have desserts right here. So first we have like a cheese milk cake. It looks really good. And next we also have a brownie. I'm gonna start with the cheese milk cake because Mr. Box can't control himself anymore. Yes. Got that right. Ooh, so soft. Very soft, milky, but let's hear it from the experts. It tastes very similar to a normal cheese, a normal milk cake. It's just it has the hint of cheese, that tanginess, the tartness from the cheese, which makes it a bit different. And also, like they have like a gold leaf on top. Fancy, fancy. Next, we're gonna try the brownie. This is a dark chocolate brownie. Oh, a dark chocolate brownie. Yeah, Ooh, looks very fudgy. I like the dark chocolate flavor, it's a bit bitter. I like a more denser brownie, this is a more cakier version. So if you want to get that kind of brownie, do give this a try. But the cheese milk cake, that's really good. You should try that. So guys, food is up to here. Shouldn't have gone to these two places on the same day, but you gotta do what you gotta do. It's not every day I come to Dhanmundi. But I might visit once in a weekend because I really want to try a lot of food places they have here that I haven't had the chance to visit. So suggest me some places to try out in Dhanmundi in the comment box below. While you're at it, you might as well subscribe to my channel. So this was me trying Bheja Fry and Kona Cafe for the very first time and I'm really pleased with my experience in both the places. Do let me know what your favorite items are from each of these places. This was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!